Hello guys, this is me again with another video. Um, it has been a while since I haven't posted a video. And um, basically hurricane season is over. It's middle, middle of December pretty much. So obviously uh, it's long over basically. Uh, yeah, the hurricane season. And it has been actually. Even though officially it's November 31st, uh, or 31st, <laughs> 30th. Uh, November 30th is the end of uh, hurricane season. But the season was way before it was over, you know, since October pretty much, uh, mid October roughly. Um, basically, I'm actually making this video just to keep up in touch with you guys. Like I said, not much is going on right now. Um, but they yeah, started watching some, some uh, predictions for 2019. A hurricane season uh, it's very early it's way too early we saw what happened last year where uh, roughly around December some people start making predictions then um, the experts come up with their predictions probably sometime in probably around April and we saw what happened um, even though Colorado State University said that um, it was gonna be um, above average then they came out in July early July and they said oh it's gonna be um, a below average season due to certain factors but we ended up seeing what happened um, it was actually um, not below uh, below average it was more like a uh, average and then we had a few major hurricanes uh, that did affect the United States so basically what I'm trying to say here is we have to pay attention and see what happens but uh, it's too early to tell some people are making videos and I've heard some some experts say um, that there was a possibility that a Nino was gonna form in December or at least in winter time so far there is no indication that a Nino is forming that it may it is going to fo uh, form well it's a possibility I've heard some other people say, well, it was going to form in winter and then in springtime it's actually going to dissipate. Um, that's what I've been hearing, but so far it hasn't even formed yet. So there's a possibility that it might not even form at all. It's uh, something we have to keep an eye on. But so far, the, the, the very first reports I'm, I'm reading and, and, and hearing, um, it, it, that's what they're calling for. Now, it's too early to tell. Uh, if anything changes, if the Nino develops, if there's any signs of development, anything, I will give you. I will keep you guys posted, of course. But so far, not much going on. And also, um, now differently, this is something I wanted to share with you guys. Also, this winter, okay. So in, in, just to give you perspective, if you guys are not from Florida, especially Central Florida, I've been here for about 14 years. And one of the things that has happened is normally about every five, probably five to seven years, um, maybe less, four years, you get a, a decent winter. And what we call decent winter is where it gets to the point that it freezes and you might get a few consecutive days that it's actually uh, freezing every morning or, or, or at nighttime, usually every morning. But it's about every... Like I said, about four or five years. Now, this year, it has been a little different. I can tell you that. Normally, we don't get our first freeze probably until first or second week of uh, January. Now, I can tell you that, that it has already, that had, has already happened in November. Um, so, what does that mean? Well, this winter time or this winter here in, in Central Florida is actually cooler it has been cooler and sooner than average. And I can tell you since November, we have had already probably uh, at least a handful of days that has been that has been cold. It has been, uh, you know, like at least once or twice it has been in the 30s probably. Um, which for Central Florida, I mean, that's a lot. That's, that's cold. You know, when you're talking about Central Florida. Now, if you're talking about New York, New Jersey, that's probably, that's pretty typical. But not for Central Florida. We're so far south that it's, it's it doesn't happen that often. 
But it has happened a few times, way before than other years. Something to keep an eye on. Um, we might, you know, might be things to come. Um, worst things to come, in other words, you know, cooler weather and all that stuff. I mean, last year we did have, uh, I believe the record was six days in a uh, six days in a row in the Orlando area, where it did freeze. That's the record. Now that was not established last year, but years ago, decades ago. But last year we got four days back to back that it did freeze. Um, in the Orlando area so we almost got close to the record now the, here it did happen too I mean we're about 25 minutes west of Orlando so here it did happen also here is actually a little here is actually cooler than in Orlando we're surrounded by lakes and more you know much more vegetation trees and all that stuff so it has definitely was it was cooler, and when it gets down to those temperatures, it starts killing the trees, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, personally, avocado tree died, even though I did cover it up. Avocado tree, papaya tree, I um, mean, and, and I saw a lot of grass dead also. Um, that it did, it did got got burned basically. So after a few days, you saw. You basically saw the um, the grass all yellow and, and, and brown, so they did die. But that's about it, guys. If anything changes, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, nice talking to you. Talk to you soon.